It's the Friday of the Super Bowl. Chiefs versus 49ers. And the thought that I'm sure is going through all of our heads are the great 16 leg parlays that you might have, or many having the happiness of seeing Taylor Swift 45 times during this game. I am watching for another reason because I want to see who on that field who is going to be a free agent this upcoming season could be a great fit for the Chicago Bears. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to this episode of Just Another Year Chicago. My name is Nick Rohde, and as always, thank you for tuning in. Last year after the Super Bowl, the Bears got insanely lucky in bringing down the hometown kid in TJ Edwards and snagging him even though he lost in the Super Bowl, coming from a winning organization and having arguably a Pro Bowl season with the Chicago Bears this past year. I am hoping that Ryan Poles and Ian Cunningham him. Shout out to him coming back for another season with the Chicago Bears. I'm hoping that they can go out and get another player from a winning culture. And there are four guys that I'm going to be looking closely at, and I hope Ryan Poles and Ian Cunningham do as well. That includes safety Mike Edwards, punter Tommy Townsend, defensive tackle Javon Kinlaw, and wide receiver Ray Ray McLeod. And before I get into this episode, make sure to hit the like button on this video if you're excited for the Super Bowl along with putting your thoughts in the comment section below who you want the Bears to sign from the Super Bowl teams or just put your score prediction. I'd love to see what everyone's thinking at the moment. And if you're just here to support the Chicago Bears and are excited for next season, put a bear down in the comment section below. The winner of the Montez Sweat Mini Helmet will be on the community post. Make sure you go look for that. But remember, if you're subscribed, you're automatically already entered for all giveaways moving forward. I'm so close to 13,000 subscriber, guys. If you're watching this and aren't, please help me get there would be crazy to get that before the Super Bowl started. So let's go into the first guy, Mike Edwards, a part of the Kansas City Chiefs. The 27 year old is a 5'10, 205 pound safety who is hard hitting, great ball hawk mentality, and also great at zone and man cover. This past season for the Chiefs, he had 45 total tackles, 28 solo, five pass deflections, two tackles for loss, and one interception. He's a big hitter, a lot of swag and confidence on the field, good trash talker, respected by teammates and by opposing offenses. As you can't go after this guy, you might be like, hey, he only had 45 tackles because no one wants to go by him. He is a very good player, low key. I don't think it's enough recognition in my personal opinion, but I think he would work out very well in our secondary because of his left athletic ability, his overall just playing style, and I don't think his contract's going to be too bad. Projected right now at about $5 million a season, I would sign him to a two-year $10 million contract because why not? You're clearly in a winning culture. He's a Super Bowl champion, and he fits well into the defense. And at the moment, I only have six picks in the draft, and I want to focus on much, much different areas of need this time around. So let's go to the second guy, punter Tommy Townsend, which a lot of people might be like, why do we need a punter? Because unfortunately, Gil this past year was actually the worst punter in the league according to stats and Tommy Townsend was one of the best hunters in the league over the last four seasons. He's a 6'1", 191 pound. He's a one-time Super Bowl champion, two Super Bowl appearances, could be a two-time Super Bowl champ after this weekend, a one-time All-Pro and a one-time Pro Bowler. And his stats this past season, pretty darn impressive. 47.4 yards per punt, along with he hasn't missed an entire ga game in his entire career. This guy's tough is a great teammate, is a captain for the Chiefs, and would be a great addition to the Chicago Bears for his special teams. Gil, I still think, could be the guy. You know, he did have his struggles, and it did put us in some bad positions over the season. Something Ryan Poles could consider. But Townsend has a cannon of a leg, guys. I mean, almost 50 yards a punt. That's insane. Plays with a lot of energy. And also, he's projected to get a three-year, $9 million contract top talent bears can get a strong punter i mean every single player is important on this team why not go out and get the best and poles was a part of the team that drafted him so let's go over to the 49ers side of the ball where i'm going to focus on a depth piece here with a defensive tackle in javon kinlaw the 6'5, 319 pound defensive tackle is only 26 years old and like i said massive defensive tackle Big man up the middle is literally a wall and a monster. This past year, he had career highlights across the board with 25 total tackles, six quarterback hits, five tackles for loss, 
four sacks and three pass deflections. For a man up the middle, that's pretty darn impressive if you ask me. Imagine him and Dravon Dexter Sr. on the interior. Those two guys are going to be practically unstoppable against any interior offensive line. They're going to have to do different packages. They're going to have to fuck guys in and out. Guys are going to have to double team. Just not a good upset situation for any opposing offensive line. He uses his size to overpower the offensive line. I mean, you can also line him up to the outside with his great speed and agility. And, you know, I would sign him to a one-year, $4 million contract. See how he does. See if he's like Andrew Billings. Because if this guy breaks out, he's a former first-round pick. He breaks out. Just good for the Chicago Bears. They can extend him in the middle of the season. Could be a really good thing for this franchise. And then finally, wide receiver Ray Ray McLeod. Now, a 5'9", 190-pound, 27-year-old is actually known for his punt and kick return. I'm sticking with special teams a lot through free agency, guys. I think you can hit on some gems in there for a good price. I mean, I, I mean, he's a good wide receiver. I'll get into that in a second. He has a 14.5 yard per catch average over the last two seasons, but he's mainly used for special teams because his average kickoff return is 23 yards. I mean, always putting them in a fantastic position and that's just average. I mean, this guy has broken it to the outside before crazy fast speed averages 10 yards of return on a punt, which in today's league is super hard to do. So he makes opportunities for himself, but this guy is crazy fast, crazy athletic plays with a lot of swagger. And I think would be really good in the Chicago bears locker room. Last year, he got a $2 million contract. Give him a one year, two and a half million dollar contract. Call it a day. Could they sign all these guys? Who knows? I mean, they're all relatively cheap players. You can go out and still get guys that are proven on winning teams and all of them get playing time. Like they are impactful to their respected rosters. So I would love to see Ryan Poles and go out and get them. Put your thoughts in the comment section below. Again, please like this video and subscribe to the channel to help me get to 13,000 before the Super Bowl is over. We're almost there, guys. But please, everyone, have a great Super Bowl weekend. If you're thinking about drinking, please don't drive. Uber is a fantastic fantastic to or lift whatever you want to do but just make sure you guys stay safe enjoy this game enjoy the commercials and enjoy the outcome because we want to see you guys next year when the bears are in the super bowl so make wise decisions always do your best and be the best because the bears are going to be the best team in the league next year but with that thank you as always for tuning this episode of just another year chicago my name is dick brody and as always bear down baby